if you're going to export a file from AutoCAD, a couple of things before you actually do the export is you need to make sure that the that the model itself is a solid. And to do that, you're going to click on anything. Once you have everything modeled with extrusions and regions and all that, you just simply hover over it and make sure, and, and I'm not clicking it, I'm just simply hovering over it and make sure it does say 3D solid because sometimes, like I'm going to explode this on purpose. Don't do that to yours, but let me just show you what it would look like. Where sometimes it will look like a solid, but it's really not. It's actually hollow. And the way I can do that is if I hover over it, you'll see that it says region or surface, things like that. And what that happens there is in that case, it's actually not solid. It's just a bunch of surfaces and this is not able to be 3D printed. So that's probably the first thing you need to do is to make sure that it is a solid surface. How do you check that? Again, you just simply hover over it. Let me undo it to the point where before I exploded it. Hover over it, don't click on it, just hover and you should see a message that says 3D solid. Okay. Once you find out and, and verify that it is a solid surface, then what you're going to do is you're going to use a command called export. In AutoCAD, you're going to use a command called export, hit enter. And then when you export, uh, make sure that you know where you're going to export to. I'm just going to temporarily export to downloads. And I already had it here, but just so you, you know, just as an example, you can download or you can go to desktop or as long as, as long as you know where it's at, it doesn't have to necessarily be downloads, but I'm going to go to downloads. And then the file type, when you click on here in the file type, you're going to see different file types. And the one that is uh, kind of universal to 3D printing is an STL file. So you're going to click on that one and then of course, name it. Uh, you don't have to necessarily put the STL here. It'll just name it and then STL. And then that's the one we're going to be using for 3D printing. Click save. Make sure you know where it's at because we're going to use that on the next step. Save. As a, in my case, I already had it, so I'm just going to replace it. And yes. After that, you're going to select the file that you want to actually um, export. Okay. You're going to find, select the file so you can kind of see how it looks like. Let me just go and do that again just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to put it under downloads. Click here. Make sure you go to STL file. Make sure it's named. Save replace and then it's going to ask you to select the object you want to export so of course if you have several 3d objects you can select the ones that you want in this case it's just going to be one i'm going to select this one here enter and that's how you export an stl file